Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I've been showing you over the past few weeks these Manfrotto LED lights. Now if you haven't seen the other videos, please do check in the video description underneath this one. There'll be a link to the first video which shows you the ML120s and those lights have got 12 LEDs each on them. Then there's another video showing you the ML240s which have got 24 LEDs on. And then there's this one here, the big boy of the bunch, and this is the ML360, and this has got 36 LEDs on. So I'm going to pop this under the Panasonic SD700 that you can see just here, and show you what you get inside the box. So, first of all, we will open this up and reveal the light. Now, this is a 36 LED light, absolutely superb for video work. Let's just open this up. So it comes out like so. We get the light itself and a little sort of sort of a adapter to be able to mount it onto a hot shoe or a tripod. We just tighten that up. It's covered by plastic to protect the front. So great packaging. Let's get that out of the way. And then also inside the box, we get some instructions. And these are instructions on how you're going to install the batteries, how long it's going to run for, etc. So great that they include some written instructions. Now let's have a look at the light itself. So 36 LEDs on this one. You can see on the other angle camera that I've got here, that I've already got one of these mounted on a tripod here. I've got another one mounted just at the back here. Not sure if you can quite, there we go. We've got another one just here already mounted. Well this one <clears throat> is going to go on my camcorder itself. So, let me just show you around it. We've got multiple mounting points on this. We've got one so we can mount it vertically, one so we can mount it horizontally. And you do that just by moving this into the other position. And then we tighten it down into place. Then we've got a battery cover. Now these take four AAA batteries. The previous ones that I've been covering, the ML120 takes just one battery. The ML240, takes two batteries and this one takes four batteries. Let's just pop these into the unit like so and pop that battery cover back on. There we go, battery cover back into place. Now something else that this one's got, now the lower end model, the ML120, has just got an on off switch the 240 has got this dimmable control as well. This one's marked up slightly differently. This one's marked up in percentages. So we can turn the light on, like so. You can see the LEDs have just started to come on there. And then as we turn this control up, the brightness of the LEDs intensifies until we're right the way round to 100%. And then we can decrease until it turns all the way off. Now, there is also an LED light on the bottom here to show that you've got enough charge in your batteries. So let's get this mounted on top of the Panasonic SD700. <clears throat> so I've got a little sort of cold shoe mount on the side here and we will screw this down. And now that's into position, we're going to bring in a couple of little models here. We've got Crazy Steve plus my Citizen Eco Drive watch. And I wanted to show you what difference these lights make when you're doing product reviews. So Let's start by just introducing the overhead light. So again, we've just turned on and we're just increasing the intensity. And you can see when we're around to full intensity, wow, that is very bright indeed. Probably too bright for the distance I've got between the camera and the subject. So let's turn this down a little bit. We wanna just adjust that so it's not glaring so much. That's probably a lot better. Now I'm going to introduce the side light so you get to see what that looks like. So we're turning this one on on the right hand side and just increasing the intensity. And you can see that making a difference. It's introduced a shadow here, you can see here. And let's just dip that down a little bit so that we get it on to Crazy Steve. And then we're going to introduce this one on the other side and again gradually increase the intensity 
and you can see some of those shadows disappearing on the left hand side. So the watch, let's have a look at the detail in the watch. Without the lights it was still visible but certainly a lot better now that we've got these LED lights on. Very very well lit and you can see the reflection of it. That's something you've got to bear in mind with these LED lights. Uh, you're going to have to direct them at the product and you don't want those glaring for your viewers so do bear that in mind and angle glass away from the lights. So let's pop that Citizen watch out of the way and we'll zoom into Crazy Steve a little bit and I want to show you this again without any lights on so let's just turn all of these lights off One, and we turn this one off and we will turn number three off now <clears throat> you can still see him very well but there is not a great amount of detail around the edges the definition still there but not fantastic so let's first of all introduce the side lights so we're introducing the one on the right and we go up to full intensity and then we're introduced the one on the left again up to full intensity and then let's just move these to a lower angle like we did in the previous videos just to try and get rid of as much of that shadow as we can there we go so that is looking really good we've got a little bit more shadow on one side than the other so what we can do to eliminate that shadow is just turn the other light down slightly so that's eliminated some of the shadow on this left hand side just by turning down this particular light and then let's turn on the overhead one just to see if we can give a bit of fill in light to him there we go so we're increasing the intensity that's about right for the overhead light and a little bit more on the right hand side absolutely superb there we go that is more or less perfect we've already custom white balanced on the surface I'm recording on and that has made an amazing amount of difference to what this little figurine looks like so if you're doing product reviews it's well worth considering getting some of these lights so let's just uh, move him out of the way and we'll bring one of these lights back into view again just to let you know a little bit more about it so this is the ML 360 it's going to cost £75 if you're in the UK. That's quite a lot of money to pay for a light, but if you're serious about your videos and you want to light your products properly and eliminate as much noise as you can, it's well worth investing in something like this. So £75 in the UK, $130 in the US. I will put links to where you can buy this product in the video description. Now it doesn't come with the tripod, these are about £11 in the UK, about sort of $15 to $20 in the US. And I'll put links to where you can buy these little Joby Gorilla Pods underneath the video as well. But for now, I'll just leave you considering this, the Manfrotto ML360. I think this is a superb light, it runs off of four AAAs and does a brilliant job of lighting your subject. I love the fact that we've got this... Um, sort of control on the side for controlling the intensity of the LED lights. Well thank you very much for watching. This has been Dave from Geekanoids with the Manfrotto ML360. Please do subscribe to the channel and I will see you all again in the next video.